is it stands for pre-visualization. So the simplest way to understand what we do is we make an animated version of a movie before they actually shoot the movie. So um, it's sort of like the kind of the quality, and actually I have something that I can show as well, uh, of an example of what we do. It's, it's somewhere between uh, video games, cinematic, like it looks kind of like that, but not nearly as polished. It's a little bit rougher, it's a little cruder. But with previs, we will figure out what the cameras are doing. So if, you know, if it's a wide shot or if it's a close shot, if the camera's moving or panning around somewhere. So we figure out all the cinematography, all the camera moves. We animate the characters. We, we compose them in space and make sure our compositions look really nice. We'll uh, do lighting as well, so we'll make sure our lighting looks nice. We'll do texturing, special effects in. We'll basically try to give the director a really good uh, model of what it is that the movie is going to look like. So we work really closely with the director and with the editor. We go back and forth between different versions of our animation until the director is happy with what it looks like. So they go into the edit room and they watch the sequence and usually by that time they'll have music or sound effects. There might be some voice acting on top of it as well. And it's it's basically we're just sitting there watching a cartoon. And then when he's happy with that, he says, okay, this is what we're happy with. So then they go and they go on to set. They bring out all the cameras, they bring out all the lights, the actors come on stage and uh, then they shoot the movie. And when you look at the movie side by side with our previous, it's usually exactly the same thing, except instead of animation, it's with the actors. And uh, that's what we do. So we help the director create his vision by experimenting and moving things around and changing things and just keeping it in a, a really fun way. So it's, it is, it's basically just a really cool cartoon that we make for the director to help them make their movie. Yeah. And uh, actually, uh, Roberto, if you'd like, I could show you an example. I could show your students an example of one of the shots I worked on for uh, one of the movies we did. That'd be great. We can show that now. I'm going to turn off my recording device over here. Class having fun so far? Yeah! Yay! Yay! Yeah! Oh, I'm having a lot of fun, too. This is great. Hi, um, I'm Joshua. Hi, Joshua. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, my question is, how old were you when you found the love for what you're doing? Oh, um, I think I was born with a crayon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty much, pretty much my whole life. I've always enjoyed it. I mean, there have been other things that I've enjoyed, but my whole life, I've always loved to draw. I, I've always loved to draw. It just it, it just makes me happy. So I always stayed with that. Uh, growing up, I drew. When I was in high school, I was always drawing. In college, I was always drawing. Uh, whenever I would go somewhere, I'd always bring a sketchbook with me and doodle. So pretty much my whole entire life, it's just something I've always enjoyed doing. And animation. Um, have any of you ever made flipbooks before? Or do you know what flipbook animation is? Yeah? Oh, okay, great. Oh, God. You, you guys know so much. It's terrific. So, yeah, I used to do flipbooks as well. And as a matter of fact, the earliest animation I ever did, there was this, uh, let's see, I can find it. Okay. So I remember one of the earliest animations, or to learn animation, was... I would draw a circle on the page, and then on the next page, I would draw a circle somewhere else on the other side of the page. And like the flip book, although let's see if I can do this here, uh, might be a little crude. So I would just Oops. Ah. You know, so I just do that. And that, in its most simple form, that's animation. 
because it's giving you the illusion of movement. And it can be done with as simple as two drawings. Two drawings can tell a story. Two drawings can move something from one place to another place. And that can tell a story. And when I discovered that, or I should say when somebody showed me that, and I, I, don't, know, I don't remember who showed me that anymore, it was amazing. Because I, I realized that with my drawings, I can make things move. And if there was something I wanted to say, or if there was something I found funny, I can actually make it move myself and then share that with other people. So it was great. Yeah. Thank you. Hi. Hi, my name is Michael. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Uh, do you have to be a great artist, great artist to do what you do? Um, I think, well, there are a lot of really great artists that I work with. I think having a traditional art background, if you know how to draw, it will generally make you a stronger animator because you'll have a better sense of weight and movement and if you want to draw people, or if you want to animate people, they'll have, they'll have a better idea of how things actually move. So, like, if I want to move from here to over there, I don't turn into, like, a blob or a ghost or something like that. You know, I, I maintain myself. So, um, yeah, I think art, art is really important to being a good animator. Although, I do know some animators that are fantastic and they really don't know how to draw very well, but they know and they understand movement. And uh, I have a friend that's an animator that doesn't draw pretty much at all, but she knows how to dance. So she brings her experience as a dancer into her animation, and uh, her animation is beautiful. So it doesn't necessarily mean that you have to be great artists to be an animator or to do that, but. Uh, I do think it helps, though, because it makes you well-rounded. And when you have other experiences and you're able to draw upon the art from other people, especially people that you find interesting or that inspire you, it can enhance you. It can enhance you as an animator. So uh, whatever it is, yeah, I, I hope that